Hello and welcome to this quick afternoon stimulus package update. I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible today. We have updates on the EIDL grant program, the Paycheck Protection Program, the percentages of businesses who have actually been funded through those, and I'm going to talk a little bit on if there's actually going to be additional funding, which there's some news there. Um, also, we have some news on the stimulus checks and an updated delivery date for those who haven't received your check yet. Um, it might not be the most satisfying, but at least we're going to have some peace of mind knowing exactly when you're, you can expect the check so we're not running around like chickens with our heads cut off. So starting with the EIDL grant program, as of today, the 21st, we're looking at 7.4% of businesses who have applied have received funding through the advance. This is not the loan portion beyond the advance. That's unfortunately down from 7.7% just yesterday. The reason for the decrease is each and every day more businesses are being pulled through covidloadtracker.com and as more businesses get pulled, unfortunately that leaves the opportunity for more people to report that they haven't yet received funding yet and that's exactly what happened. I mean we are seeing a increase slowly um, if we're looking at you know the days in a whole, but boy is it a slow, slow increase. I'm personally happy to hear that I'm getting more and more reports of people who have received the grant money just today. I received notice from five different business owners, in, including some of my consulting clients who have received money in their account this morning. So if you did apply, I would definitely check your accounts because every single one of these people stated that they had no communication from the SBA beforehand, so they're all just <laughs> ghost payments. So check your accounts. If you did apply, you might have received money this morning. Um, just yesterday, I saw the first person that I've personally seen who has actually received funds from the EIDL loan. So this is the loan amount after the actual grant amount. This is the same YouTuber Kai Kim who seems to be like one of the first people receiving funding. He received the $15,000 loan deposited into his account. Um, for those of you who want to go with the loan amount above the grant, I really urge you to scrutinize the loan documents and make sure that you are okay with the terms. It seems like the SBA wants some terms that most lenders typically wouldn't request. Um, things like requiring you to get approval before any ownership changes made in your business. If you get a loan over $25,000, you're actually gonna be held personally liable for the loan, which most lenders would do that, but I know it was part of the program that you wouldn't be personally liable, so that's just something to think about. And you'll need a hazard insurance policy on your business if you wanna get this loan, and you'll need to provide proof of that within 12 months. And I know many businesses don't have that policy. Also, if you want this loan, you're gonna to need to keep immaculate records of what exactly it's spent on because you'll need to provide proof of what it's spent on and you'll need to keep those records for three years. So in paycheck protection news, as of today, we're looking at 7.8% of businesses who have applied have received funding. This is unchanged from yesterday, unfortunately. Anecdotally, again, I'm receiving some reports of people receiving funding, but not nearly as many as the EIDL program. I mean, I'm probably receiving one or two a day of people saying, hey, receive funding through this program and money's in my account. At least there are some people receiving it, but it has been much, much slower. So there has been a delay in getting additional small business funding out the door it was previously expected to be agreed upon yesterday and then sent to the Senate. However, it got delayed because they wanted some additional testing on where exactly the first funds were allocated to before they approved additional funds. So that delayed it to today. Now they're expecting to make some kind of agreement today and have that sent to the Senate sometime this afternoon. So I'm really hopeful that something will go through and there will be additional funding. Um, as of the current terms, we're looking at $310 billion. Nancy Pelosi stated it would include about $120 billion more for small businesses uh, geared towards our underbaked communities, women and minority owned businesses, Native American, rural American, veterans, small businesses, and the rest. She also added that Democrats have also asked for $100 billion in spending on health-related matters with $75 billion going to hospitals and $25 billion going towards testing. So, you know, with this, I'm a little bit disappointed because the more I look into it, I just don't think it's going to be enough. Um, I think we get this additional $310 billion, I think it's dried up within three or four days. To be completely honest, we probably need upwards of a trillion dollars in order to get everyone funded. Who knows if that's even possible or what that would do to the economy, but 
there's just going to be a lot of people left in the dust. So if you haven't got funding yet, I, as soon as additional funding is approved, which it seems like it's going to, do everything you can to try and get your piece as soon as possible. Hold on, huge update regarding the Small Business Relief Package Program. As I was uploading this, some major news came out. $450 billion of funding has been approved through Congress and now is going to be sent to the Senate for finalization at 4 p.m. today. Massive news. As I said earlier, Democrats wanted additional funding for state and local governments. However, this portion has not been agreed upon yet. That's gonna be part of a future coronavirus relief bill. I'd really like to applaud both sides here for working together and getting something out the door as quickly as possible because so many people are in need right now. There is also a proposal in the works that would limit the number of businesses who can apply for the Paycheck Protection Program as part of this new proposal, businesses would have to prove that their businesses were severely impacted by the coronavirus in order to receive funding. It's not really clear how the proof would be made, but the goal here would be to limit the larger businesses and businesses who don't really need relief and get funding to the businesses who actually do. Also, as a part of this proposal, there would be a stipulation disallowing banks to prefer current customers over new customers when doing these paycheck protection loans, which was a massive issue with the first round of funding. It was so hard to find a bank that would even hold a loan for you. So that would be great if that went through. It has not gone through yet. I'm not sure if it's gonna be part of this bill that is gonna be voted on today in the Senate, but that is a whole another thing that may go through. I also decided to do some math on the $450 billion package. At an average pay paycheck protection loan of $120,000, we'd be looking at an additional 3.7 million businesses who receive funding through this program or around 12.5% of the small businesses in the United States. That's not very many. However, I think we're moving in the right direction and I'm really glad and I'm hopeful that this eventually goes through. I still think that if you're gonna be part of this, apply as quickly as possible because funding will still go quickly. Back to the video. So on to when you'll receive your stimulus check. Last week, about 80 million people received their direct deposit stimulus checks, and that leaves about 70 million additional people who have yet to receive anything through the stimulus package. But as of this morning, they updated their schedule on how payments will be rolled out. It's kind of confusing. There's kind of two layers to it based off of people who receive benefits from certain programs and also your level of income. So I'm gonna start. First, those who uh, receive social security benefits and railroad retirement benefits, you're set to start receiving your payments this week. They're gonna be starting to be rolled out. Those who receive SSI and SSDI are set to receive your payments starting early May, so as early as next week. And those who receive VA benefits Unfortunately, for some reason, there's not a date set yet for when those payments will be rolled out. Um, an important note, I did a video on this yesterday, but I'll cover it again really quickly. If you have a dependent and you haven't filed for 2018 or 2019 taxes, and you're part of one of those benefit programs, you must fill out the IRS's non-filer tool in order to receive the additional $500 per dependent on your stimulus check. If you do not file that non-filers tool by noon on the 22nd, noon tomorrow, you will not receive that $500 additional payment until you do your taxes in 2021, until you file your 2020 taxes. So make sure you do that as soon as possible. For anyone receiving a paper check, the IRS will be mailing out 5 million checks per week to the following payment schedule. Those with the lowest adjusted gross income will receive payments first starting this week. This week will be anyone with an AGI under $10,000. Each week it'll go up by $10,000 and those people will be covered. So this week it's under $10,000, next week it's under $20,000. It scales up from there, so if you make under $40,000, you'll receive your payment by May 15th. If you make under $80,000, you'll receive your payment by June 12th. That would mean all single filers will receive their payment by around mid-June. Under $120,000 AGI, you'll receive your payment by July 10th. Under $160,000, you'll receive your payment by August 7th. Um, that would mean all head of households should receive their stimulus payment by early August. If you make under $180,000, you should receive your payment by August 21st. 
and then under $200,000 for joint filers, you should receive your stimulus payment by September 4th. So finally, all joint filers should receive their stimulus check payment by early September. You know, I'm, I'm happy that we have confirmation on when these people will receive payments. However, frankly, I'm pretty disappointed that it's gonna take that long. I mean, some people might not receive payments until September. That's not gonna do any good for people who have rent or mortgage payments now or lost their job or have you know, lower hours than they used to. I really feel for anyone who has to wait months and months in order to receive their payment. So that's all I have for today. I'll try to do this as quick as I possibly could. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you have a profitable day.